Who says hate about one another? Video. Child, y'all know about a pop up the man child. A bitch is getting over a cold. That's a bitch putting the weather. I'm so sorry y'all haven't posted no videos. I'm so, 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 so sorry, child. But I'm back with Papa the Man. I'm trying to get more videos up for y'all. If I cough a little bit, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Please don't mind it. Y'all know I already knew y'all. Letting y'all know in advance. But yeah, child. Y'all know I'm back with reaction videos. My girl, Ebony Blasty Blah. This video is called Megan Thee Stallion Wants No Smoke with Nicki Minaj or Tori. Tori Lane, child. Your Miami Dread for Bad Acting and More. Child, before we get into this video, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel, child. We're going to win a 4K hertz. And comment what you guys think about this video. Let me know your opinions stuff like that, child. Because y'all already know we're going to talk about it. And like this video. Why didn't you like the video yet? Like the video, child. What's wrong? I know I look a hot mess, but like the video, boo. Hurts. Um... Yes, yeah, so let's go into the video and I just did a twist out twist in my head so I ain't put the twist out yet. It is 5.45 in the morning. I still haven't gonna get my videos out for y'all, so here I go, child. So let's get into the video. Period. Welcome back to my channel. It's hey, hey, vinegar. Topics to discuss in this video. The first topic being none other than Young Miami responding to people saying that she's a horrible actor. Mm. Now you guys know Young Miami did make her debut on the show BMF just last night, and she was in a scene where she was basically supposed to cry, and mm -hmm. she was talking to Meech about the death of her significant other. However, people are saying that it was actually one of the worst scenes they've ever seen, and Young Miami is not here for it. So I'm gonna go ahead. And play the clip, and we're gonna get into what people had to say and talk about Young Miami responding. Check it out. Right for me. So fast, why you doing it? Get you right. Now, people. Miami, what the fuck was that? Girl, now you know they gonna well, ain't no they gonna cry, girl. You supposed to get in tears. You supposed to they gonna girl. What was that? They took the social media to kind of voice their opinion. <clears throat> saying this Excuse is me. the worst acting I've ever seen in my life. Another person says, so today y'all hating on Young Miami. She went from scamming, finessing to rapping, talk show, and hosting and acting. Now y'all mad. Young Miami actually responds and she said, the more they hate, the more opportunities come. It's only it wasn't bad, bad, but y'all know. Well, I've seen worse than that. I can name plenty of actresses and actors that did worse than what she did. So, let it be. Beginning for me, another person she done got says, her man. She done got her shit. She what we're talking about. Last night, she's so funny. Yo, Miami says it wasn't funny, lol. So look, you guys, everybody has to get their feet wet when it mm -hmm. comes to new creative um processes, right? For example, Yo, Miami is used to being a personality, mm -hmm. so she's not really somebody who's out here trying to land major A list, mm -hmm. you know, movie deals. She's getting her feet wet and she's learning. Everybody not gonna like what you so do. I don't think it's fair to say that she was the worst actor on TV. I don't think. That, that is fair mm -hmm. at all. I think Young Miami did her best. Were there parts where I feel like she could have improved? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I'm no actor or actress coach. Exactly. So just because I want to see something as a customer does not mean that that is what the scene was actually calling for. Mm -hmm. And I really do think that some of y'all just be mad at Young okay, Miami. Okay, Young Miami. But that's just my opinion. And you guys will let me know what you think about it down below. Do you think Young Miami gave the worst performance you have ever seen before? Well, let me know. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys. Let's go on to the next topic. Something that's super anticipated. And that's Megan Thee Stallion announcing her return and also her producer saying she doesn't want to write a diss track she wants to put everything behind her mm -hmm. including Tory Lanez and Nicki Minaj now according to Megan Thee Stallion and her team she is officially coming back to headline and you know she's been gone for a while she a gotta come back and make some points the Tory Lane verdict and she's gonna come on because I think Megan is really trying to watch the market and also watch mm -hmm. people are still going to support her after there are so many people divided over this verdict now Megan Thee Stallion team says this she is now confirmed to headline the AT&T block party as part of the 2023 NCAA March Madness Music Festival in Houston this is 
hailing from Houston. You guys know that Megan Thee Stallion is a Houston native, mm -hmm. allegedly. She's also a three-time Grammy award-winning artist and philanthropist and entrepreneur. Now, people are saying that she is ready to come Oh, this gonna be in Houston. Oh, y'all know she's gonna show up at that time. And Megan For has been For to be unstoppable. Now, this event would actually take place in two weeks, March 31st through April 2nd, and okay. it will be held at the Discovery Park in Houston, and it will provide fans with star-studded entertainment during Men's Final Four mm -hmm. weekend. So what do I think about this? Megan is doing what she has to do. Megan has to go back home, and she has yep. to start with the college kids, right? She has to start with the hot girls, the hotties. Mm -hmm. She has to really get back into her bag. So if she can't get her city to come out, she can't get nobody to come out right? anyway. I'm not saying that Megan did anything um, so wrong that we should cancel her. But a mm -hmm. lot of people feel like Megan has not always been honest. That's neither here nor there. We've also learned that Tory Lanez wasn't always honest, right? Mm -hmm. So Megan is trying to get back in her bag. She's going to start with the college kids, right? Get her feet wet, see how people respond to her, go back home. And I think this is really going to set her up for where she wants to go moving forward. Megan Thee Stallion also signed a huge deal that's going to be announced in the next couple of weeks. So that's also going to be something to help her put. So did she sign with... Um... Columbia Records, Rock Nation, she not Rock Nation, but era. Columbia Records. And you know what? I hope Megan Thee Stallion does well. I know. I get it. People are divided about this situation, but that doesn't mean that we should wish bad on her, and it also doesn't mean that she deserves to be tormented because of her truth, if that makes sense. So, I wish her the best. I think she's going to do a great job. And speaking of Megan, a lot of people have been running this story that Megan Thee Stallion was gearing up to release a diss track against Nicki Minaj. Well, mm -hmm. Megan Thee Stallion's producer is saying, why why would she ever even do that? You guys know Nicki Minaj released her song Red Ruby the Sleeves. Mm -hmm. There were several lines in that song that people felt were directed towards Megan Thee Stallion, i.e. one of those lines being, I don't F with horses since Christopher Reeves. We also saw Nicki go to Rolling Loud where she got on the stage with Lil Wayne and she said mm -hmm. it again, I don't F with horses since Christopher Reeves. <coughs> So people have been speculating that Nicki Minaj wants some type of beef with Megan Thee Stallion. Do I think she wants a beef with Megan? I don't. Mm -hmm. I think this is a competitive sport. And I don't think that Nicki is saying anything to be malicious. She's saying it because rap is competitive. Mm -hmm. This is how rap gets down. So although people feel some type of way and they want this female rap unity, that is not how hip-hop works. Now, one of Megan's fans actually reached out to her producer and they said this. How do you want Megan to return? And her producer, Lil Drew, made it on the beat, says, Y'all saying she should do a diss track, but did y'all think for one second she's trying to put all these things behind her? Right. Why would she put it on whack and be reminded of it? Now, people are in the comments saying, you know what we're talking about. We're not talking about Tory Lane. We're talking about the situation mm -hmm. between her and Nicki Minaj. Is she going to respond to Nicki Minaj and some of the things that Nicki said in her song? And I feel like Megan's team is dancing around this idea because I don't think Megan is going to respond. Mm -hmm. I've actually got back from several people that I know that Megan Megan done won the, the court case so she not worried about Tory Lanez no more Tory is gonna be serving time in prison whatever he probably doing whatever they serving with whatever 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 Megan done won so if Megan done won she not worried about the case no more so what she gotta respond to she won the case so if she won the case she ain't gonna worry about Tory Lanez no more she gotta worry about what she can see dropping shit Lord Jesus she gotta worry about if um she if when she come back is people still gonna love her, is people still gonna come see her playing concert and stuff like that. She not worry about any of that other shit, girl. Please does not want to respond to Nikki. Her label is encouraging her not to respond. So do I think Megan's gonna say she gonna lose. No, not unless Nikki says her name. Megan mm -hmm. has said it time and time again, right? Ignore y'all how y'all father do. Until one of y'all say my name, I'm gonna mm -hmm. keep ignoring you, right? If it ain't directed, it ain't respected, etc. Right. But at this point, I mean, she literally said horse. So I'm not sure how much more direct you can get than that, mm -hmm. right? So this is just a messy situation, but obviously Megan Thee Stallion, according to her number one producer, is not trying to diss Nikki mm -hmm. or to come back and respond to Nikki. She's trying to put all the drama behind her. And so we'll see what happens in the next coming days. All right, you guys, before we wrap this up, <coughs> let's go ahead and give a shout out to our clown of the day. You guys, we have a new segment on my show that is called clown of the day. All right, we're going to give a video. 
videos online of people doing clownish things. Now, our clown of the day goes to Meek Mill, making sure that he let everybody know Shut that up. he's enjoying Nicki Minaj's new song, Red Ruby This Week. Go ahead and roll the film. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? So congratulations, Meek Mill. You have been crowned clown of the day. And I want to hear what you guys think about this down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Child, Meek Mill is the least of our words, child. I ain't worried about him. I ain't worried about what he got going on, child. He ain't even revelant, revelant no more in this industry. But anyway, child. Um, yeah, Miami, we, we don't seem better acting and stuff like that. Yes, you might need some old, um, not both coaching, but <coughs> you need a acting coach. Don't just take like big shows like BMF. I ain't never watched the episode before, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna start watching BMF. But um, don't take on. I'm not saying it's a big role, but don't take up a role when you know a lot of people watch and stuff like that. That because in the Netflix movie you did good, but in this shit it seemed like you just you just wasn't ready for this type of role. So you could have did something else, but that crying shit that you did, no ma'am, no ma'am, no ma'am. Find you another acting coach. See what you can do then. Get better at the same child. Because just taking a bro just because a check coming with it. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. And that's all I got to say about that. Um, Y'all know Meg, yeah, Megan got to come back and see if she can get back in her bag. See what people still, see if people still love her for her being four months gone. See if people don't still come out. Because she can do it in her city. She probably knows she can do it anywhere else. So if she can get people to get to buy tickets and stuff like that, the college student, I guess I'm a college student, college student and stuff like that to see if they can buy her tickets and stuff to come see her perform, then that's good. The, get to her back, honey. She gonna do a good job. She do a good job with that down with. But she don't need to um, reply back to Nikki because she already knows she's gonna lose with this battle for like that. And she, if she says she wants to be on good times, she want to take, um, put all this behind her, then let them do that. And if Nikki can do that, and make them do that, then that's good. They can come back to a song. I don't know if they're going to song or whatever together. So, like, they could end it together already, stuff like that. But if they can let it be the past, be the past, just move with their lives, then, hey, that'll be good, too. But, yeah, she don't need to respond to like that. She, we got other stuff to worry about, child. Making it worry about that. Making it worry about Tori. She don't need to reply about Tori because, like I said, Tori, child, a whole lot, a whole lot. But, um... Let me know what you guys think in the comments, child. Let me know what you guys think. Give me y'all opinions, stuff, child, because this thing is crazy right here. Megan, glad you're back, whatever, girl. I hope you put out some, some hot shit, period. Um, so, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe to the channel. It's your boo, Tasty. Now, see you guys in the next video.